right outside of Atlanta. I really like it. I think we're gonna stay here for a couple nights. Only drawback is this place doesn't have that great of Wi-Fi, and we both need to upload some stuff, so we're headed to a Starbucks that's like four miles away, and we're gonna do that. Kroger and we saw firewood and we we're like oh my god I and mean, this is like the nicest day yet like it's not freezing cold and so we're like let's make a little fire and I made come over here a little basic charcuterie board hummus carrots cheese crackers I'm gonna go get the wine now we also have some beer for later got the music we have the awning out even though we're sitting over there vibes good vibes all around I'm actually really I'm actually really excited for I'm tonight excited. this is like our first night where we really get to enjoy a campsite look 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 Get a little fire going. Attempting to foil roast foil steak, roast. <laughs> steak and potatoes. I think it might work. No, it should work. It's really good. Overall thoughts on this uh, site we're at here. I love it. It's Ready. excited for it to be in season because this is a little preview. That's very unfortunate. Oh, they're about done. Pretty much done. Just good. finished them off on the stove. And then we got some chips and salsa. And then we're gonna watch a new TV show. Animal we Kingdom. Watching. So Animal good. Kingdom. Dinner of Champions! Those taters look good. Oh yeah. You can see how it works. Uh... So this campsite actually has laundry and it's not coins. Thank God, because I have no coins. I just searched everywhere and then I went and asked the guy at the front. I was like, so I assume. The laundry machine takes coins. He's like, no, it takes cards. I was like, thank God, because I don't even have cash, which is dumb. Don't do that. <laughs> So we've got 30 minutes till the washer's done. So I figured I'd take a little walk now that it's not raining, finally, and explore our campground a little bit. Your wash on the road really is not that hard. Um, a lot of the times campsites like this will have them and you can just check on their website or on any different app that you're using like Campendium or The Dirt um, and they usually will have a list of amenities and you can see on there if they have a washer dryer. They normally are just a few bucks extra coin or card so I would just have both just in case. And then the other way is just searching for a nearby laundromat if the campground doesn't have one. This is another easy old school way of doing it. Those are the two main ways I do my laundry on the road. Um, I did that when I was car camping as well and it worked great. But if you have any other ways that you do your laundry on the road, comment them below I'd say the only other way I do it is if I'm near a family friend's house and I'm going to visit or staying there for a night I'll run a load there just to do it but yeah those are the two main ways I waited a very long time to come back for the laundry how long like three hours I was comfy in my chair watching the show eating brownies and then I remembered the laundry it was out in the cold so here we are I hope it's still here uh, yes. See how he's doing it all. Okay. <laughs> I don't need the clothes up right now. Crack Kate Crosby. 
I knew you were gonna say that. When it hits like 8 p.m., Crackhead Crosby's out for the rest of the evening. Okay, bye. So we just drove into a campsite. As you can see, it's very dark out and we have almost a full tank of the gray tank and the black tank. So we're dumping in the dark. This is one of the glamorous parts of RV life. So it'll take you long for the ride. I'm getting the poop tube. Oh, we love the poop tube. <laughs> First we need the right angle poop hose tang thing. Tang. tang. Oh, we need some flashlights. Oh, well headlamp, essential. Dad action here, look at this. Yes. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Ugh. These things have come in so much. They heavy. are. Definitely get these. We use them a lot for the hitch when we're putting the trailer on and off, and it keeps the grease from not staining us for days. All right, so very important. If you look under here, you see we got a black pull tab and a, a gray one. So obviously, gray tank, black tank. Nothing usually will come out unless you have the things pulled. Twist. What I don't is know it? you're supposed to put this thing, but I'm too lazy to figure it out right now. Yeah, we got this at Walmart, opened it up, and the other attachment wasn't in it. So someone had gone in there and just grabbed it for themselves. So we had to go get another one at an RV store, but we'll hook that up later. And so this like flushes it out. Yep, optimal flow. Get those kinks out. Here she goes. Whoa. It's all soapy because it all comes from me. It'd be flowing. So basically you turn this on and it'll flush out the tanks. Woo! So the black and gray tank, they were like almost all the way full. Now they're down to green empty. Fresh tank is empty, so we're about to fill that. You can see it's red. You're good. Just keep going. Perfect. <laughs> Hi. Hello. We're at a very beautiful campsite that we got to extremely late last night, and so now we're enjoying the beauty during the daytime. This guy got a spot. Yeah, this guy's got a really good spot. We're doing a little bit of exploring. You had a little workout here this yeah, morning. Yeah, I went you? on like a run walk this morning. I honestly want to come back during the summer. It's north, I think about an hour north from Raleigh. This is like one of the big lakes. Uh, it's, it's massive, actually. You can bring your boat out here. I'm Sleep sure people bit. go swimming in the summer. Raleigh, officially. It's actually a really nice spot. We have another friend. Look, a wolf pup. Hello. Hello, sir. We're behind some restaurants, but most importantly, we're by a Cabela's. We haven't even gone in the trailer yet, and we're about to just go frolic around in the Cabela's. Thank not you. gonna buy anything. Yeah, that's probably not gonna happen. <laughs> Stay well, tuned. This is like Christmas. This makes me want to go backcountry camping because you just stuff all this in a backpack and then we could probably set something up when we go out west just yeah. like leave the jeep somewhere and, and go back for right. a few days oh i want to do that so bad we have to yeah so we're making honey garlic glazed salmon and i made the glaze it's honey lemon juice garlic and glass pepper and you just reduce it eventually and use it as a glaze. Fun fact, if you didn't know this, I'm almost vegetarian. I eat fish like once every three weeks, so this is a special occasion. So we're really chefing it up tonight in the Cabela's parking lot. Let's get cooking. cooking. It's a I little guess. more of a salmon casserole, but yeah. it's gonna taste good either way. <laughs> Cheers. That glaze though. Oh, that's really, oh, that's really <gasps> good. 